Hey guys, my S is here once again with you with a TI Inspire video to, you know, give you some inspiration. So let's talk about in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to calculate bivariate statistics. Okay, so what does that mean? So statistics with two variables. So let's say we're doing something in a scatter plot or or we're um, we need some we need to find R, which reminds me what the uh what is a pirate's favorite statistic? R. Okay, that's bad. Let's just keep going. Let's go on here. So what we're going to do is uh, I am going to start a new document here from my home menu. And I'm going to start a list and spreadsheet. So in my list and spreadsheet, I'm going to enter in my data, my X data and my Y data, whatever those data are. We're going to go and enter in them in here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in some data here on uh, calories consumed and weight loss. So give me one second and I'll enter those in. All right, here we go. So I have calories and just like, you know what? That's magic, right? Boom. Ha, there I go. Uh, calories and weight loss. So I'm just going to scroll down here so you can see the values that I have. So if you have your TI Inspire in front of you, you can go ahead and enter in these values into your spreadsheet as you work along with me. Okay, so there we go. We've got all our values in. We've got two variables, variables of calories and weight loss. Um, now, in a previous video, we looked at the calories as being the the explanatory variable and the weight loss as being the um, response variable. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first just show you how to draw a scatter plot, and then I'll come back and show you how to find these one variable statistics that we're going to need to create our linear regression model or our least squares regress mo regression model. Uh, we're going to need to calculate R or, for, or we calculate R squared later on. So Let's go first and let me show you how to draw a scatter plot. So in a scatter plot, we're going to hit control doc to get a new page and we're going to have a data and statistics page. This is not your scatter plot. Okay. This is just a uh, bunch of dots for now. Okay. It's not a scatter plot. So we're going to go down, click to add variable. We're going to add our explanatory variable down here, which was calories. We had a nice little dot plot there. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to add a weight loss, okay, weight loss variable. That's our response, and we have our scatter plot. So if we wanted to see a scatter plot in our TN Inspire, there it is, all right? And we've got our points. Let's suppose we made a mistake. We can always go back, and if we change one of these, it'll automatically change in our Inspire. That's perfectly great. Um, it's one thing I love about the TI Inspire. So here, we're gonna go back to our spreadsheet now. And we are going to determine the two variable statistics. So we're going to hit menu, statistics, that's the cal class we're in, stat calculations, and we have two variable statistics. So we're going to click on that. Our X list is our explanatory variable, which is calories. Our Y list is our, our, our response variable, which is weight loss. We don't have any frequency list in this case. So we're going to go and skip that. And we're going to go and skip everything else because we don't need it for this particular problem. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to put our results in um, in column D. And here we go. So in our column D results, um, it's going to give us our X bar. Our X bar is going to be our explanatory variable. So we have a mean of 1,796 calories. That makes about uh, kind of sense there. Uh, we have the sum of x's, sum of x squared, which we don't quite need. Here's our standard deviation of our x. We're going to need our x bar and our and our standard deviation to calculate the linear regression later on. Um, we have the number of things. Now we have y bar. See, that's nice of it to give us the mean of the y variables, the standard deviation of the y variable. Here we go. Here is r. Here's our, the, our correlation coefficient of 0.975. That's telling us this is a strong linear correlation, right? So we've got a strong linear correlation. We have our quartiles here for our X values, our quartiles and our median for our Y values. And we have our sum of the X's, which we, uh, we actually don't need for this particular problem, unless you have a professor that uses that to find the standard deviation, all right? So there are all of our um, statistics that we can get from two variables. So this will give us our R. We wouldn't want to do our one variable stats separately, even though we would get basically the same thing. We definitely want to do them together because that will give us our, our, our R value. Try saying that a 
bunch of times real fast, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Two variable stats in the TI Inspire. We'll catch you later, guys. My assist out. Don't forget to subscribe. My assist math. Bye.